kind of thing that he already has his fire eyes and lightning. Unless, of course, I decide to use all two on him instead. I'm gonna do that instead. Give him all two and restore. And then to give Shokumog here. And yes, fire, ice, lightning. Fire, restore, ice. Nice, good ice. Fire, restore, ice. And I can give him that lightning. Even though that means we will have two lightnings instead. Because I cannot fit also lightning on this guy. I mean, I could if I remove them. I don't think, but yeah, you get what I mean. So now we have the summon on him. Of course, that's the bad ice. Yeah. And of course, here you can also talk about the Mega Solemn thing here. With this guy here, I think of course the must is not interested. But you can say yes. And then you see probably in this to get the chocobo. That way you can see two masters with chocobo. It's only way to avoid a mid-girl solemn which is 30 feet tall. And blah blah blah. You know. And then you can rest here also as well. You know. Which of course removes your fury and sadness. You know. I think this is a weird in the translation there. You have to say not interested here, which is stupid, and then you go down to the business thing. And of course, 2000 isn't anything for this sort of thing, but you need movement greens later on, which we're not going to be getting right now, because right now that can be quite a bit for it, but you need it later on to get a certain enemy skill. And this is a shock of lure, by the way, which is good because it also gives you luck like plus one. Have the shock lower, but we're not going to be needing that if we save in the right location here. I think you need to stand here at least, I think. Because normally, why I always manage to be assist to run away without encountering the snake. And basically, the snake needs to be in a certain position, and then it should be no problem. But then, what you can do also here something that you can do uh, with not everyone might know is you can. This, we can try and hit with it. I mean, we're probably gonna die to this though here because we're not hitting with it. I'm gonna have to reload actually. Please tell me we saved. Please tell me we did yeah, save before we touched around. The thing is, of course, my party isn't really ready for it because we're in the front row and stuff like that. Please tell me we saved. 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 Bloody reason. Like you basically need to get the snake over here, kinda. Oh, I'm almost got it. Tranquilize yourself here, actually. You can eat it with bio, also. I kind of wish I would have kept sense, to be honest, here. Trank him up. We 
can make it go a bit quicker if we actually... Oh yeah, we do have sense actually. The thing is, by the way, the thing is a counter-attack. from the poison and he doesn't get to use his beta and now the fuel gets reset there which is a bit bad to be honest type there we go he hated to have to use that there and we can tempt up there he hated to have to use it like that but normally I can always like run over on the first try. Normally the only thing that's a problem is on the run back. Like on, on the trading fight basically I was able to always when I would run over to to off the other side I would never ever encounter it when I would run over. But that just seems to be very very random. It depends on, on the save file and stuff that and even if you reset that doesn't help sometimes you know. But that might mean that when running back it's going to be easier, but sometimes it's used... Some sirens, the snake just decides to be a deuce bag and no matter what you do, uh, you won't get get past it. So you trigger that scene. <coughs> but it's save IP, yes we need. Interact slot, yes we need. And the reason why you want to go in here is for example you cannot go here. And it says, we won't get to come if we go through these cameras. Yo, what's up? Can't sorry man even lead away? Yes, I cannot lead away. Do you know the way? And here? I was gonna say here we get a certain good really really good material. And of course you can use uh, you can use the thing on him. Because we already got the flame tower now. And now we can for example you can use the mathematic to kill everything. But normally you need to hit him twice with it basically. We can just punch them to death. And I thought I need to have him in the front row. I should change that back actually. I should at least change him to be in the front row actually. Even though I think there are certain monsters here that can be a bit dangerous if we leave him in the front row. Because yeah, you get long range material here, which is actually a pretty, pretty good idea. Long range, of course, only has two levels to its master, so we only need 80,000 of that, basically, you master it. Now, of course, you get an ether there as well. Get a really, really nice ether. And we get a tent. So now we should have 11 tents. No, we have 10 tents, yeah, because we used one up, yes. I don't know why I forgot exactly what it's not does, but for example if you want to get the quickest speed that's very very different to you know, and of course you can use this granny bomb here as well. I believe those type of, that type of limit cannot really really miss. Of course Tifa can miss with her limit, but that's because of another reason. The best encounter here to actually grind is this uh, is the grind up there, because that gives you the highest chance to get a certain encounter that I'm telling you about. I really hate to have the thing the only other character that I need to grant him to break on. That's a bit annoying actually to have it on the character because the thing is on the character that we grant the limit break on, the thing is that we wanna use in, we wanna be spending all the MP basically on, you know, getting uh, getting the kills actually. So let's find that. 
because Mother Magic only costs 8 MP. It goes generally speaking, Mother Magic does more damage than used throwing out, uh, for example, like throwing out an all spell of something else here. That is like, that's 4 MP. But then, of course, if you use, I mean, if you use a, a 2 Magic of something, then that's 22 MP. And 8 Magic is, of course, the same as a bio. And of course, Shokumog is, Shokumog is 14, so yes. And Shokumog is like, so there are gonna be certain things with Mother Magic won't kill in one shot, and then you will have to use someone's instead. And this is an encounter I really, really mean that you wanna be getting here. But I also feel like when you get higher level also, you will have a higher chance to hit, or depending on what weapon you use, of course. But that's the main problem with using Frog is that you're gonna be missing a lot. Of course you can use this. But there's another reason also why we went in here. Um, it's not just to grind, uh, to grind the kills, which is a good reason to go in here, but also if we go into here, and if we're lucky, we should be getting the encounter right away. And we did get the encounter right away, but we don't want all of those enemies to be up. We actually want to kill the snakes first here. I should be trying to stay with him though. Yeah, because the thing is, the thing we want to be getting is from uh, from those guys up here. Main problem is we got affected by darkness, which is not really really that great. To be honest, especially since we won't hit with, with attacks here, and uh, yeah. Oh, that actually did work. Okay, good. I'm actually gonna heal up here. I think we're gonna kill off one of them there. Nice. Because it doesn't matter if we steal one or not, but there we go, we stole it, and it's the Grand Glove. Game Glove is basically the same as both Hard Edge and Atomic Scissors, so it's... Oh, but both you have to Kai and... Set the Red Beam in the same encounter, that's nice. So the Red Kai is, is cast haste, and there is defense for all that. Defense percentage, that's important, so that basically increases our Lord chances. I know haste is really, really nice to be getting, you know. So it's kind of like a wiki big guard. The main problem with big guard though is that I believe the meter goes down quicker. Yeah, this is of course his limit 3 now. So now the thing is though that Barrett's limit breaks. Uh, you know, I said that oh, you only need to use the limit break 8 times, but that's not actually true. With Barrett, you actually need to use the limit breaks quite a lot more times. And that's actually true for most of the characters, actually, that, that the first limit break you need to use 8 times, but then the second limit break, like Blade Beam, you need to use Blade Beam more than 8 times, you need to use Blade Beam, I think, 9 or 10 times. And I believe uh, uh, his uh, Barrett's Satellite Beam, you need to use a shit ton of times before he gets Anger Max. And Anger Max is actually, strength-wise, strength-wise is actually really, really good. No. Don't tell me I wasted tranquilizers there and then made him hyper again. <laughs> Maybe I did. I thought, did we save? Yeah, we did, right? We did save. 659. Yeah, we did. Okay, good. And of course, we have got on the ground cloud now. It's gonna be down here at the bottom. There. It's the ground cloud. Which was nice. All of Tifa's weapons, by the way, increases her crit chance. Basically, like you have a crit chance here, but that weapon, but that's basically tied to what your weapon shows. So, like you have 98 on hard edge, you have 100 on material clip, you have 99 on the scissors. So yeah, but that percentage is more actually your hit rate. But there's also like a certain crit is kind of almost like a hidden stat. Like yes, the thing affects crit too, I believe. Should actually be giving the 
kill it all instead to uh, I should be giving it to uh, to Cloud instead I think. Oh, I actually will. 